In this tutorial, I'll show you how to write an absolute function as a piecewise function. I have two examples prepared and we'll start with a. We have the function f of x is equal to 3 over 2 minus 3 and 3 is being multiplied to 1 over 2 minus x in between these two bars, which is the absolute part of the function. Now every absolute expression, in this case it's 1 over 2 minus x, can be represented in two ways. It can be represented as negative, and then you write the expression within parentheses, or the expression itself without the negative. The first step to doing this is to simplify the right side under both conditions. Here's what I mean by that. So under the condition where it's negative, we have 3 over 2 minus 3 multiply 2 negative 1 over 2 minus x close parentheses. And we'll also be doing this for when it is positive. So I'll just write that down like that. Okay. We'll simplify this function where we have 3 over 2 minus 3 and we'll multiply this negative inside where we get negative 1 over 2 plus x. And I can do the other version at the same time. So this one's a little simpler. We'll multiply the 3 or the negative 3 into here and into there where we get negative 3 over 2 plus 3x. Let's continue simplifying. We'll do the same thing. So I'll multiply negative 3 into negative 1 over 2, which makes it positive 3 over 2, and negative 3x. 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 is 3. So 3 minus 3x. And over here, subtracting these two gives us 0, so we're left with 3x. Now the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can find the point of intersection between this linear equation and that linear equation. The point of intersection will enable us to create the boundaries in our piecewise function, our restrictions. So to find the point of intersection between these two, we simply set them equal to each other. And if we set them equal to each other, we'll bring that term over so that they are common. Simplify the right side, 6x and 3 on the left, divide both sides by 6, and we get 1 over 2 is equal to x. Now that we found this number, we need to find out what happens to this part of the expression, the part that's within these bars. Let me write that down over here. What happens when x is greater than half, and what happens when x is less than half? Focusing in on this one first, if we were to substitute a value that's greater than half, you can picture this in your mind, this would become negative. You'd get a negative output. Think of a number as 1 here. Half minus 1 is a negative value. And if you were to substitute a value that's less than half into here, say x is equal to 0, you'd get positive outputs. We also need to find out what happens when x is equal to half. If we substitute half into here, we get 0. And since 0 is neither positive or negative, you may put an equal sign under either one of these. It doesn't really matter. So you'll write this down as x being greater or equal to half. And for positives, you'll write down that x is less than half. Now we have everything we need to write our piecewise function. So I'll write down f of x is equal to, and we had this when we had a negative in front of our expression. So for the negative values, when x is greater or equal to half, and we'll put this at the bottom, that's for our negatives, we had 3 minus 3x. And for our positives, when x is less than half, we had this expression, 3x. What you see here in purple is what the original function looks like as a piecewise function. Let's quickly do example B, just so that we have a good understanding of what's happening. I've put aside my work for A, and now we will do question B. So this can be written in two ways. We can write it as 
g of x is equal to 5 plus the negative version of that expression. And g of x is equal to 5 plus the positive version of that expression. Let's simplify both, starting with the first one. We have 5, and inside the parentheses here, negative 1 plus 4x. If we simplify further, we get 5 minus 1 plus 4x, and that leads to 4 plus 4x. That's for the first version. For the second version, we have 5 plus 1 minus 4x. That's 6 minus 4x, and that's the most it can go. We will now solve for x by setting both of these equations equal to one another. 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 4x minus 4x. Negative 2 is equal to negative 8x. And we get a quarter is equal to x. Now we'll find out what happens when x is less than a quarter and when x is greater than a quarter. And we can put an equal sign right now under either one. Picking a value of x that's less than a quarter, if we recall, it was 1 minus 4x, that expression. So when we pick a value that's, let's say, 0, we get 1 minus 4 times 0, which is a positive output. And when we pick a value that's greater than a quarter, we get a negative output. And you can verify that with your calculator. This was the expression for when it was negative. So I'll write down 4 plus 4x. When we have x is greater or equal to a quarter. And this was our expression for when it is positive. 6 minus 4x is for x being less than a quarter. And that's our function as a piecewise function. If you have any questions, please use your website at biology-forums.com. Thanks for watching.